Okay, so for the second topic for this week, day 2, still on operations with rational algebraic expressions, we have division of RAE. So, same goal pa rin tayo for the week. So, ito pa rin yung ating objectives. Now, for your learning task 2, this is the continuation. But now, um, tell whether the given quotient is the correct answer for each fraction. So, quotient naman tayo kasi nga division. So, true or false ulit. So, first, we have 1 fourth divided by 3 over 2. Is it equal to 3 over 8? The answer is false. Okay, tama kayo dyan. False. Bakit siya false? Kung natatandaan nyo po, in dividing fractions, para rin tayong nagmumultiply. But before we proceed in multiplication, ano muna yung ginagawa natin? So, we reciprocate the divisor. So, kailangan nating mahanap ang reciprocal ng ating divisor. So, yung one-fourth or yung dividend natin, one-fourth pa rin, but yung ating divisor, pagpapalitin natin ang numerator and denominator. So, that will become 2 over 3. Then, we will proceed in multiplication. So, steps na ni multiplication ang kasunod. So, ano mangyayari? We can cross-cancel the common factor if we have or multiply the numerator and numerator, denominator by denominator. So, may mako-cross-cancel ba tayo? Yes po. We have 2 and 4. Divisible sila both by 2, so we have 1 and then 2 on the denominator. Then we multiply numerator by numerator. 1 times 1 is 1. Denominator by denominator, so 2 times 3 is 6. The correct quotient for example, number 1 is 1. 6, not 3 over 8. Okay, so next we have 8 over 11 divided by 40 over 33. So, is a fifth the correct quotient for these fractions? 8 over 11 divided by 40 over 33. So, 3 fifth is true. This is the correct quotient for this example or for this fraction. So, tingnan natin kung paano naging true. So, again, we reciprocate the divisor. First, we copy the dividend, then reciprocate the divisor. We have 33 over 40. Proceed in multiplication. So, we can cross-cancel na muna kung meron tayong common factor. So, 33 and 11, divisible both by 11. So, we have 1 and then 3. Then, for 8 and 40, both are divisible by 8, so 8 divided by 8 is 1, and 40 divided by 8 is 5. Now, multiply numerator by numerator, we have 1 times 3 is 3, and then 1 times 5 is 5. That is why 3 fifth is the correct quotient for our example for 2. Now, how about in division of rational algebraic expressions? So, to divide our A is... Multiply the first rational algebraic expression by the reciprocal of the second rational algebraic expression. Again, kagaya nga po na sinabi ko, magmumultiply tayo pero sa reciprocal na ng second rational expression. And yung second rational expression na yan, ang tawag natin dyan ay divisor. Again, we have dividend, divisor. Then, yung sagot natin is the quotient. Okay? So, yung divisor lang po ang hahanapan ng reciprocal. Again, divisor lang po ang hahanapan ng reciprocal. Now, what are the steps in dividing RAEs? So, step 1, we have get the reciprocal of the divisor. So, kailangan nga natin ang reciprocal ng ating divisor. And then, step number 2, proceed in multiplication. At ano nga ba ulit yung steps in multiplying RAEs? Step 1 is to factor the numerator and the denominator. Step 2, divide out common factors among numerators and denominators. Cross cancellation man ito or hindi. Then, step number 3, multiply the numerator by the numerator and denominator by the denominator. Then, for the final answer, write the product in its simplified form. But still, since nasa division tayo, yung magiging final answer natin, ang tawag natin ay quotient. Okay? Quotient. Now, example number 1. We have here monomials again. Dito muna tayo sa medyo madali. Monomials. 48k to the 5th all over 5h to the 6th power divided by 16k to the 6th divided by 25h squared. So, wag tayong basta-basta magka-cancel. Again, step number 1 is to reciprocate our divisor. So, copy muna natin si dividend 
48k to the 5th, 5h to the 6th. And then now, we have to reciprocate the divisor, ang 16k to the 6th power ay naging denominator na. And then yung 25h squared is naging numerator na. Now, pwede na tayo mag-cancel ng ating mga common factors. So, una, 48 and 16. Divisible sila by, so yung pinakamalaking pwedeng ipang-divide natin ay 16. So, 48 divided by 16, we have 3. 16 divided by 16, we have 1. And syempre, common din yung k sa kanila. Yung may least exponent ay k to the 5th. So, yun yung GCF natin. k to the 5th divided by k to the 5th is 1. And k to the 6th divided by k to the 5th is k. Now, on 25 and 5, meron din tayong GCF, which is 5. So, 25 divided by 5 is 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. H squared and H to the 6th power. So, ang may least exponent ay H squared. So, yan yung GCMF natin. So, H squared divided by H squared is 1. And then, h to the 6th power divided by h squared is h to the 4th power. Now, we multiply the numerator and the denominator or isulat muna natin yung magiging final or simplified form natin dito and then dito. So, uh, multiply the numerators by numerators. So, 3 times 1 times 5 times 1. So, that is 15. And then, for the denominator, we have 1 times h to the 4th power times 1 times k. We have h the fourth power k so this is our final answer for example number one again nag reciprocate tayo ng divisor bago tayo nag cross cancel okay reciprocate muna ng divisor bago tayo nag cross cancel example number two so in this case uh, meron na tayong binomials at pag may binomials na tayo isipin ulit natin ay may factoring ito. Unang factoring technique na itatanong natin, may GCMF ba? May greatest common factor ba among x squared and 36? So, wala po. Dito sa x plus 6, naka-raise the second power, wala rin naman tayong GCMF. x plus 6, wala rin tayong common factor. So, dito tayo sa numerator sa itaas. Meron tayong two terms, so binomials. And difference siya kasi minus ang operation. Now, dalawa lang ulit ang pagpipilihan sa difference. We have DOTS or difference of two cubes. So, ano ba? May square root ba or may cube root? X squared yan. So, meron lang tayong square root. Kaya ito ay factorable by DOTS. So, what will be the factors? So, that is the square root of the first term, square root of the second term, isang plus at isang minus. So, nag-factors na rin tayo at the same time. Tingnan nyo po ha. At the same time, yun ating divisor ay ni-reciprocate na natin. So, nag-factor tayo, numerator, and then yung denominator, in-expand lang natin ito kasi nga dalawang x plus 6. Then, yung ating divisor ay atin nang ni-reciprocate. Okay? So, yung x na numerator naging denominator, 6 plus x na denominator naging numerator na. Then, proceed in multiplication. Now, we can do the cancellation or we are going to divide out the common factors. So, as you can see, meron tayong x plus 6 and x plus 6. Common siya sa ating unang RAE. So, that will be 1. And then, we have your x plus 6 at 6 plus x. So, ito ba ay special case? Hindi po, kasi plus lang po ang ating operation. So, pag kinansal natin yan, positive 1 pa rin ang sagot natin. Now, we multiply 1 times x minus 6 times 1. So, since 1 lang naman yung i-multiply natin, still, x minus 6 pa rin yan. And then, on the denominator, we have 1 times 1 times x. So, ito siya. The final answer will be x minus 6 all over x. Okay? So, hindi na pwedeng makancel kasi wala naman na ang common factor. Hindi tayo pwedeng magcancel ng terms. Nagkakancel lang tayo ng factor. Okay? So, example number 3. We have x squared minus 4x plus 4 all over 2x minus 4 divided by x minus 2. Kagaya na example number 2 natin, tingnan natin kung may factors nga ba. So, we have here trinomial. Bago natin alamin kung alin dun sa trinomials na factoring techniques or saan siya kasama dun, tingnan mo natin may GCMF ba? Common ba sa kanila ang x? Hindi naman. Common ba sa kanila ang 4? Hindi rin naman. So, tingnan natin natin, trinomial siya. Unang factoring technique natin sa trinomial is PST. Perfect squared trinomial ba siya? Square root ni x squared is x. Square root ni 4 is 2. 
So, pag pinag-multiply natin, 2 times x is 2x times again by 2. So, we have 4x at 4x ang ating middle term. So, again, this is factorable by PST. And then, on the denominator, we have 2x minus 4. 2 and 4. 2 and 4. May common sa kanila. So, this is factorable by GCMF. Now, while we are factoring the dividend, we can also get the reciprocal of the divisor. So, Factor muna natin, PST, square root of the first term, square root of the last term, sine of the middle term. So, kaya meron tayong x minus 2 times x minus 2 or the quantity of x minus 2 to the second power. And then, dun sa denominator, dahil nga, factorable siya by GCMF and the GCMF is 2. So, 2x divided by 2 is x, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Now, yung ating x minus 2, again, this is just like a whole number. So, meron siyang invisible 1 na denominator. Kaya, pag nag-reciprocate tayo, ang 1 na denominator ang magiging numerator at yung x minus 2 natin ang magiging denominator. Now, we can do the cancellation or dividing out common factor. So, may common ba tayo dito muna sa unang RAE? Yes, meron tayong x minus 2. Ayan, so nauna pala yung cross cancellation. Pwede naman po yun kung yun yung una nating nakita. But still, pwede rin pong mauna itong nasa unang RAE. So, ayan, 1 pa rin yung sagot. So, 1 times 1 is 1, and then 2 times 1 is 2, and then itong nandito is 1 over 1. Pag atin po yung multiply, the final answer is 1 half. Okay? 1 half lang palang hinahanap nating quotient for this RAEs. Okay? Example number 3. Now, let's have example number 4. And in this example number 4, we are going to supply the missing divisor. So, nawawala po natin ngayon ay divisor, hindi quotient. So, in this case, paano nga ba natin mahanap yung divisor na yun? So, kung natatandaan nyo po, to find the divisor, we have to divide dividend by the quotient. So, again, dividend, we have to x over 8. I divide natin siya by the quotient. We have 1 over 2x. Now, in dividing RA is, so we get the reciprocal of the divisor. So, ang ating divisor ngayon ay yung quotient. So, ano ang uh, kanyang reciprocal? We have 2x over 1. Now, we can do the cross cancellation kung meron nga ba. So, we have 2 and 8 divisible both by 2. That is 1 and 4. So, nauna natin yung cross cancellation. But, Kung titignan natin, yung naging result niya, meron pa tayong pwedeng makancel. And that is 2 and 4. They are both divisible by 2. So, this will become 1 and the denominator will become 2. Dinivide natin siya by 2. So, the final answer is 1 times x times x. The answer is x squared. And then, 2 times 1 is 2. So, yung nawawala natin dito na divisor is x squared all over 2. Okay, so for example number 5, kagaya rin ni example number 4, supply the missing divisor. So, ang nawawala natin dito ay ang divisor. And again, the formula for that is dividend divided by quotient is equals to the divisor. So, kunin natin si dividend that is x minus 6 all over x minus 2 and then the quotient is 2 over x minus 2. So, ang quotient ngayon ng ating pansamantalang divisor. So, ibig sabihin, etong quotient na to ay kukuha na natin ang reciprocal niya. So, ang magiging reciprocal niya ay x minus 2 all over 2. And then, kinapi lang natin si dividend. Now, we can do the cross cancellation. If there is, may makakancel ba tayong common factor? So, we have x minus 2. So, 1 na po yung sagot natin dyan. We have uh, now x minus 6 over 1 and then 1 half. Pag multiply natin, x minus 6 times 1. So, x minus 6 pa rin yun. And then 1 times 2 is 2. So, the final answer for the missing divisor, we have x minus 6 all over 2. So, this is the last and final example for this topic.